Be secure and entire here in this this space. So it's really yeah. quite extraordinary and magical. You know, the external space is all is shared and and um, and maybe it's because it's on the the water and the water's always moving and the mooring you, you constantly cruise and you've got to move your boat every two weeks. It's quite an extraordinary way to live if you are constantly moving because if you can imagine saying where do you live in London and you say well I live all over the place. Yes, people are more friendly. I think, you know, just being on the water or being near the water makes a difference. Well, the number one would be the attraction of living on a canal and being close uh, to nature. Because you don't get that much in uh, big cities like London. And uh, I really liked the, the, green, the greenery about it. Um, the second reason would be the economical way of living because uh, it does, doesn't cost as much as, you know, renting a place in London. Uh, the third would be, I guess, um, being involved in a community because you, once you buy a boat, you become part of a community. It's not like you're buying a house. It's, it's, it's different from buying a house and, you know, being uh, excluded and isolated. Because here, when you buy a boat, you, you, straight away you get involved, you know, uh, other, other members. So yeah, these three would be my most influential reasons why. Stuff is a nice, basic way of doing things. It's, it's, uh, it's just kind of like getting your coal and putting your fire on and filling your water up. It's just like, it's a nice, basic way of doing things. It's, it's uh, just kind of like getting your coal and putting your fire on and filling your water up. It's just, I just I like doing that rather than just being in a house and having it done for you. you know? You make friends very quickly living on a boat, which I like, but I really freeze, freeze over and you are locked in and, and, uh, and you can't do your, you know, you can't fill up with water, you can't do the routine household stuff. I can't think of a single hardest thing really. Um, I don't know, there isn't really anything hard about living on a boat, really, that I can think of. Coming home and your father's gone out, it's freezing cold, I guess that's not very nice. That's another reason why I wouldn't move off the boat, because I would miss the community. I know all my neighbours, some of them better than others, and I know the, the others, the boaters at this end, more than at the far end, uh, because we kind of pass each other more easily, I suppose. Um, I've got friends here, where I've lived in the street for 18 years and spoke to my neighbour maybe a dozen times because we were both shy and we both of us didn't want to have to talk to each other every time we went out into the garden. And so, you know, I actually spoke more to her after I'd left than I did in all the years that we lived next door to each other. I do like being part of a community and working towards the same goals as other people um, and sharing, you know, the same uh, likes and dislikes. Um, so. and, and it doesn't matter if you're an actor, um, they'll sit down and have a beer with you. Um, yeah, yeah, because you're all in the part and the pun same boat. <laughs> and certainly for me, I have felt at home here in a way I've never felt anywhere. Insects is not a problem. Um, you do have more. Well, focusing on the negative side, I think I should mention the rats, because you. You know, the amount of people who feed the ducks, they, they, they don't know that they're actually feeding a lot of rats as well. And the rat population is quite high on our by the canals. Believe it or not, I'm arachnophobic. I live on a boat and I'm arachnophobic. <laughs> you get lots of spiders in the summer, mosquitoes. But then on the plus side, you get all the nice wildlife. You know, you get all the dragonflies, you know, all the colorful dragonflies. Got all the birds and the babies and what a way to spend a day.